we must be just playing crazy. We're gonna throw a whole bunch of sticks together. We're making a 47% pit special. Well guys, just as I said, um, it's time to start a new project. Thanks to my good buddy John uh, that I love watching him build stuff and seeing his models from Wally Squadron year in and year out, uh, John Tabaretti. He, he has an amazing pit special. It's a 60 percenter. Uh, I like the 60 percenter, but I got to get the stuff in and out of my basement. So here's the deal. I can't leave this thing here and unbox stuff. It's too big. What do I do with it? Um, let's throw it off to the side. All right, box is off to the side. So let's talk about what's in there. This is what I pulled out of the box. This is what I wanted to look at and review to get some recommendations. They give you a really nice book. They're in German. What did I get myself into? It's got a nice clear binder on it. Um, it's got some pretty decent directions, but the front couple pages to me were very, very light. And you can see here they have a disc. They include pictures, step-by-step -step stuff, and another digital copy of this book. So I took the liberty of reprinting this. Uh, so that way I could go ahead and get the pictures a little bit brighter for my liking. They're still in German. So if I have any German friends, come on down. We'll hang out. <laughs> you can help me with this. <laughs> so. Uh, we're going to take pictures along the way so we can upload stuff to Facebook as well. But what do you say we start getting this stuff out? Paper. More paper. Now, Vogelsang is located in the U.S., so you do get this stuff pretty quick. Things come in a very reasonable amount of time. I think I had this in a week from the time I ordered it. So we got ourselves a nice Vogelsang Aeroscale shirt. Um, that's all cool and stuff, but unless you guys want to see the flex, I don't think that's going to fit. So uh, what are we going to do with this size large shirt? Because I'm a 2X. We'll figure that out. Paper. Paper. Vogelsang coffee mug. All right, now we're getting into pieces, which is really cool. So let's see what we got on top. Metal stuff. So if you guys are watching this, and you got a cool scheme that you like, I'm open to suggestions. So um, do me a favor, go ahead and throw a link down in your comments below. So that way I can get some, uh, some ideas. I have a couple that I really like. So this looks like our um, mount for our upper wing. So this will go right over the top of the nose. That's what this looks like. So we got ourselves a pretty neat looking bracket. I don't quite know how that's supposed to sit, but Guess we'll figure it out. We got some more metal stuff. Everything seems to be pretty well protected, bubble wrapped. Everything in there is bubble wrapped. That I see anyway. I don't see any wood yet. Yeah, I was kind of heartbroken over to hold the Cathlon thing. I still am. But I think I'd like to build. I have this model and another one in mind if this goes well. And then um, I think I'm gonna maybe fill in every now and then with ARFs. But, so there's your landing gear. Guys, that's, that's some big gear. Some big old gear. That's a big old wheel pant. Oh, air-filled tires. So these are six inch air filled 
Um, I don't know what my thoughts are of air-filled tires. These are Cavens. Um, I wonder how hard they're going to get to how hard they're going to be to get to that air valve once they're in there. They don't seem to really fit on the inside of there, so we're probably going to have to open up those wheel openings in there. But I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Nice uh, fiberglass spinner with an aluminum back plate. <laughs> Everything's marked, it's just marked in German. So I couldn't tell you what anything is, especially when I can't see in there. Okay. Yeah, nice, nice bag of hardware, a bunch of uh, Man, if those aren't flying wires, I don't know what is. But then they have bungee, bungee gear in here. A bunch of metal plates, hinges, big nylon hinges. Might just use big robarts. I don't know, we'll see. So that's a big bag of hardware. Paper. Let's do it. You want the big cow? Big cow. This thing's big. Look at that. Nicely done. No damage, no uh, flaking off of there. Here, you want to know size-wise how big this is? This is as wide as my chest. That's easy to fit in there. Like this thing is, it's a, it's a monster. Looks like for the deck maybe. Gives you a visor for your hat. Now here I'm really going to go for the gumption. Um, I could tell you what this is. This is our canopy. I am going to do a sliding canopy. I've never done a sliding canopy on anything ever. So I like I like sliding canopies. I've just never done one. Look at all this stuff to protect it. It's like a slimy plastic. There's a lot of it. Keep it in here so it don't get scratched. It's got a light tint to it, which would be really nice. Yeah, nice canopy. Take it out for there for now. See what else we got. More of that. These look like our wing struts. The only downfall of a pits and a lot of biplanes is, and maybe we'll address this as we build it, is uh, assembly time and teardown time. I typically like bringing a lot of planes with me to the field. So my fear is always that going to take me an hour to put this together and an hour to rip it apart and you lose flying time. Um, these are some nice fiberglass struts. Um, I'm kind of curious how they're going to hold up. I mean they don't feel like super robust or anything so I don't know. I don't know how they're going to get held in. We'll see. First bag of pieces of wood. Got a little piece of tin in there. 
The strips, I'm pretty sure, were for the sliding canopy per the directions. So they give you stuff in here to make the sliding canopy. I'm going to assume that's part of the tail. Looks like they put some tape on there already. It almost feels like that might be broken from in the box. It's wood. I'm sure we'll be able to glue that back together. And You know that there's more to it than just that. All right, so here we got wing tube. Nice brass uh, or an anodized, it's an anodized aluminum and wing tube. Nice fit for sure. And we got plans. Now it did say something when you bought this that these plans aren't one to one. So if you need pieces, you have to contact them for pieces or plans for the pieces to make to make them one to one. And I would assume that's for copying stuff. They don't want people ripping off their ideas. So And there you have it. So those are plans for assembling so you have templates and stuff to follow. We're running out of room here for pieces. Wrapping. All right, so it looks like we have, maybe this is the wood for the tail or something, but we have in there the wing tube for the tail. Let's get this box off the bench. All right, so here we can start to see now all the bags are marked. Like this one is R-U-M-P-F. I have no idea what that means. Um, could be tail or something, but in the disc, I know I've seen that word before. Um, so basically this bag of stuff would be for, I'm going to assume the tail. Yeah. And this one is marked and, uh, F L A C H E and underneath it, it's written in English wing. So I would assume that's all the pieces I need for the wing. And again, um, these are all nice CNC cut pieces. And the whole concept behind this kit is it almost like a lot of it interlocks together. So we'll see how that goes during the build. Oh, and this is some heavy plywood. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yep. So whatever those pieces are for, we're going to be doing a lot of sanding in here, I have a feeling. I don't know, I hope not a ton, but there's some more. So we'll have to cut or break those out or whatever. Um, you know, maybe the idea is too, is that you save some of this stuff for templates. I don't know how that would go. I guess you can actually, if you ever think you're going to need some of these, you could take these pieces, pop them out, and just trace them on another piece of paper so you had them. Be a good idea. Maybe do it on the back of your plans. Pieces. That looks like a rata. It's not a rata. Heavy ply. Sheet metal. Fiberglass, flexible. Nice control horns. Really nice. Yeah, so all them little things, I guess we're gonna have to cut out but and sand them down. But uh, 
yeah, all your control horns and hinges and or control horns look like they go there. So that's neat. These look pretty bent. Um, I remember seeing in the instructions, these are like your rudder uh, leading and trailing edges. Like you got to form those around the rudder. So they're bent, but they're going to get more bent. By Lord, this is like dealing with six foot two by fours. I know it's only four foot still. Yeah, this is all hardwood. So this is your basswood or whatever. It's been a while since I built a kit. Um, like I said, I started on that PT-19 right at Christmas last year. It's like, guys, it just never ends with wood. Junten. I don't know. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it means something or not, but that's uh, all your, looks like wing ribs right there. More wing ribs. Maybe uh, unten, I'll have to look it up. Maybe that means upper. I don't know. This is where you should have taken a second language in high school. This rudder is like 12 layers deep. Oh, you know what? I bet you that's an elevator half. Yeah. That's some big elevators. That's a long piece of wood. And another one. But wait, there's more. Engine box, firewall. I hope you guys know what all this stuff is because I got not a clue. All right, that's our last sheet. So this is gonna be half of our fuselage. So usually when you see cuts like this, scarf cut cuts, scarf cuts, right there that's because you're going to join that to a fuselage half which the way it looks is that lower piece right there is going to be the other half so i also noticed that when i was looking around some pit specials have like a see-through window on the right side of them uh, maybe a neat thing to do to this one we'll see Now, as far as the age of the kit, 2015 from Powerbox. That should tell you something. This thing's been around a while. So, um, light box, power box, interesting. All right, junk. So, with that being said, guys, um, if you're interested in sticking around for this series, um, uh, I'd, I'd appreciate it, but this is going to be a long one, 
and I will try to break it down into sections for this build that we can follow along the way and then ultimately maybe just put a grand finale together at the end. So we'll do certain sections and uh, maybe it'll serve as a tutorial for building for anyone else. I know that uh, like John built his on RC Groups, he has a really cool blog there of where he built his and his steps. Since obviously there's a language barrier here, uh, I think a video format suits most people. So I'm going to try and do uh, my blog because I don't like forums. Uh, I really haven't for a long time. I'll do my blog version on the official Facebook uh, Just Plain Crazy page. So we'll follow that through there if you want to. And then also we'll do the videos on my YouTube channel for each of the sections as we get them done. And we'll talk about some of the hits and misses along the way, things I screwed up, things I got right, and how it's turning out. And hopefully before uh, next flying season, we'll have ourselves a nice pits that we can go ahead and take to the field. That'll be a nice showstopper. So guys, with that being said, um, why don't you say we lay this stuff out on the bench and then we'll get you down for a walk around and then we're going to get out of here. All right, check this out. This bench is not big enough for all of these pieces. So again, got some fiberglass. Uh, I don't know what that is. Cover there. And we got our wing mount, got our landing gear, our cavens, wheel pants, that kit in the coffee mug, our shirt, our huge cowl, a bunch of cool planes on the wall, and uh, sheets and sheets and sheets. And I don't know how I'm going to put all this sheet together. Cool stuff there. But um, again, there's the bags. You guys can see the writing, like how they wrote things on there. Like they do in a lot of kits. And then all your hardwood, all your runners, longer ons, things like that. They're all in here. But uh, yeah, we're going to have a little bit of a barrier here with the language stuff. But otherwise, there's there's some builds in the forums I'm going to try and follow and uh, see what they ran into for issues or problems. But otherwise, that's how this kit looks. So believe it or not. Yeah, what did I get myself into? But I'm kind of excited to get this baby started. So what do you say we get out of here for the night? And uh, let's see if we can get started on it sometime soon. What do you say? All right, guys, and there you have it. That is the unboxing of the EMHW 47% Pit Special from Vogelsang Aeroscale. Uh, this was all purchased out of my own pocket. So this thing is going to be a very unique build from a good company. Link it down in the description below. Go over there and check them out. See if they have anything that you may be interested in building um, or maybe even one of these to follow along and build it with me. Don't forget to comment down in this section below. Comment section down below if you have a certain scheme or livery you would uh, like to recommend. You never know. Maybe I'll wind up picking yours. So with that being said, it's Brendan here at Just Playing Crazy. You guys are just playing crazy for always hanging out and watching. I appreciate every one of you guys. Follow this project along on our Instagram and Just Playing Crazy pages. Um, as always, like, share, subscribe. Smash that thumbs up button. It helps us out a lot. When you hit the bell, select always, if you would. So uh, with that being said, I wish you guys happy flights. Peace out.